Welcome all gamers, achievement hunters, friends, and loyal fans to TBD Gaming, the video game broadcasting and review channel where we keep it real. I'm the Black Deesh, the jack of all games and master of none. Today I'll go over everything you need to know before you play the game Olija. Olija. Ulia. I, I truly don't even know how to say the name of this game, to be completely honest. <laughs> Olija was released January 28th, 2021 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC for a bah. price of $14.99. It was developed by Skeleton Crew Studio and published by Devolver Digital. It's rated T for Teen for Violence and Blood. Uh, file size is less than a gigabyte on this game. It's incredibly small, 964 megabytes for this game. And there are 10 achievements for a 1,000 gamer score. How long to beat has this rated? Around six and a half hours. Um, true achievement's a little bit less than that. Um, at four to five hours for around 1,700 true achievement points. It took me six hours and seven minutes to complete this. So a little bit longer than I had expected going into it, but that's because my skill isn't the greatest. So I found myself replaying a little bit, um, some of the more difficult parts over and over again, but that's not a big deal. Um, Ollage is a 2D side-scroll platformer. Um, you play as a shipwreck victim named Faraday, and you explore this mysterious island that you land on known as Terrafage or Terrafage. Um, you collect different weapons, you try to rid the island of a notorious monster, and you meet um, a lot of different people along the way. Um, the game is very simple in graphics and gameplay. It reminds me of early Nintendo Entertainment System games, so like truly, truly an OG as far as like style and gameplay goes. Um, Things I liked about all each other, the story is charming, the platforming is engaging, there are a couple of really cool mechanics, basically you get a harpoon at the beginning of the game and you can um, jump around with it, like, um, kind of, it's like, kind of like a teleportation system almost, but you, um, you basically like harpoon your way around the map and um, most of the puzzles are related to this harpoon. Um, also, a little, a funny little touch that I really enjoyed is drinking from fountains, eating apples, and raiding the campfire soup cauldron all increase your health. So, <laughs> I thought that was pretty clever that you actually have to eat and drink stuff in order to, um, in order to increase your health. I thought that was kind of cool. Things I did not like about this game: the graphics are so rudimentary. Um, the characters don't even have eyes. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy how um how little detail they put into the, the 8 bit graphics. 8 bit graphics don't usually bother me a ton. Um, especially if there's a lot of detail involved and if they make the game look really pretty. I, I feel like there was a little bit lacking in the graphics category on this game. Um just it just wasn't a lot of detail at all. Um another thing I didn't really like the the final boss was kind of tricky to defeat. It took me like 20 15 to 20 attempts to to get the final boss done. It took a lot of learning exactly where he was going to strike and how to defeat like um, the shipwreck dude himself. So, um, also another thing that was a little bit um, frustrating for me in the last hour of the game, you're forced to learn. You you are forced to learn a brand new game mechanic. Um, basically, you get the sword that's like the reverse of your harpoon, so you can like teleport to your sword no matter where it is. And I mean normally that's not that that big of a deal and it's kind of a cool mechanic but it, it's just frustrating that it came at the very end of the game after i thought i had learned how to do everything in the game if that makes sense it's only like the last island or the last two islands that you have to use this new mechanic um but it kind of changes the entire um the entire strategy of the game a little bit um also i think i would have appreciated this game a lot more if if i was a bit older i know it's weird of me to say but I, I think the nostalgic feel and the rudimentary graphics would have brought me right back to my childhood if I grew up on Nintendo Entertainment System games. My first console was a Nintendo GameCube, so that kind of dates me a little bit. Um, and, and this game's a little bit too early for me to really strike that nostalgic chord. I'm sure that if you, you know, if you grew up in the 80s, you would really, really enjoy Elijah. <laughs> um Analysis, quick analysis for this game. The storyline is good. The gameplay is basic. Mechanics are minimal. And graphics are straight from 1983. And it isn't very difficult if you use a guide. Um, is the game worth it? I don't think I would pay any money for this game. Um, it was on Game Pass, but I played it as I was leaving, as is my habit most of the time. Um, is the grind worth the gamer, gamer score? Sure, six hours isn't that bad. Um, and... Honestly, it wasn't incredibly difficult. It was a little bit grindy when it came to some of those bosses, but it wasn't that bad. Um, I would say it's a somewhat easy completion if you've got a guide, of course. And would I play this game if it had no achievements? No, I wouldn't. I would not. <laughs> um, 
TBD score for Olaja is going to be 4.90 out of 10. So just under halfway. It's a very average game, I would say, as far as um, everything all put together. Difficulty, storyline, gameplay, mechanics, and graphics all kind of combined into one. The one that the category that it really did get hit on most was... Um, was the graphics category obviously it's not a terrible game if you want to re relive a little bit of your childhood nostalgia um from old platform adventure games and it only took six hours like i said before so and honestly you could probably if you have a, a more proficient skill at games like this i'm sure you could get through it in four hours or less i'm just really bad so it took me it took me a little bit uh Took me a little bit longer than it probably should have but it's not a bad weekend game if you uh, if you like this video please do like and subscribe as usual and if you'd like to see more content by me, I stream on Twitch. You can follow me at the Black Deesh on Twitch. I appreciate your love and support, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.